This one is for those of you who might struggle being caught up in the doing, doing, doing. Uh, it was something that I've I've kind of always known, or not always, but I've known for longer than today, but I reminded myself of today, is when you take time out to connect with yourself, connect with your heart, and by connect with your heart, I mean connect with your visions for your life, connect with how you feel and how you want to feel. You are human, so I don't care how much you might push away that idea of connecting with your heart as a hippie woo-woo kind of concept. It's absolutely not. And if you are one of those people, you might need to listen to this even more so. But the more that you can take time out to connect with yourself and connect with your heart and just be and practice envisioning what life is for you and what kind of life you are creating for yourself because that is the whole point of all the shit that we do anyway, right? To create this life for ourselves. But the more that you take time out to do that, the more you'll actually enjoy the journey along the way and the more that you will have the energy to focus on the things that help you get there. So I am in currently in the middle of a big project, which is super amazing and I'm really excited about it, um, but it's a lot of work. I'm also doing a few courses. One had started a while before the others and they are all in progress um, and then there's a little bit of overlap there. So there is a lot of fullness in my schedule, but today I ended up having a gap. And it was really only a gap of like two hours, maybe less even. I think it was about an hour and a half. And I used that. It's a new moon. So it's always a nice vibe to kind of just sit and go, okay, what, what am I creating for my life? And even if you don't believe in the moon cycles and everything like that, it's still nice to have a catalyst that gets you to do it. Um, but I sat with that and I just got to get into this space and I just felt so expansive in myself about the life that I'm creating or the life that I'm working towards, this life that I envision, not one that I'm just making up, but one that kind of just got to be uncovered in this space. So I could be a little clearer in how I want to feel, what and, and the literal aspects, what I want my day to look like so that I know that I can work towards that. And out of that came out things that have had seeds planted to me from different people and coaches, especially recently. Um, out of that came out things like, how can I delegate so I can have more of that space in my time for me, for my loved ones to spend more time connecting with the people that I want to connect with or connecting with myself as well so that I can keep this vision clear and keep moving towards it with the energy that it needs and that it deserves because our lives deserve our energy, our lives deserve our attention. And again, this is a really practical concept, even if you feel like it's not, even if you feel like you want, you know, lists and things of how you can do things. You want the how to, this is a how to, and the how to is simply pausing and being enough, being with yourself enough to just check in and have the space for things, space that we don't need to immediately fill with other things, but space that we can actually see what wants to grow into it instead see what wants to grow and be cultivated into it instead of just being immediately filled or dumped in on with all of this other stuff. So the best lesson I have for you today is to allow yourself to connect in with you, with your heart, which means connecting in with your vision for your life and giving yourself time and space to do that as well because you will notice a huge difference in your energy, in your productivity, in your efficiency, in your output. Everything, everything, everything is easier to be aligned from that space.